let's uh let's work on 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 this deck let's let's see what what we got going here so the premise of this deck is pretty simple it's that once upon a time is such a busted card that you can put it in a mono red aggro deck with only 17 lands and it'll be incredible in it so that's what we have here it's a mono red aggro deck we're splashing once upon a time in a tarkus command and then out of the sideboard we're splashing destructive revelry but other than that mono red all the way uh let's let's go over the 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 key players here we have foundry street denizen whenever we play a red card it gets gets a little bit stronger legion loyalist busted card i've played eight whack and 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 mono red aggro decks for a while and this card has so much text on it uh whenever it and two other creatures attack creatures you control gain first strike and trample until end of turn and can't be blocked by creature tokens so fantastic um taylor swift here uh haste prowess one two for one mana busted <laughs> soul scar mage is like slow slow swift spear basically and has this extra text about minus one minus one counter so we'll take it uh wild slash is just our our shock of choice Beaumont courier come on Beaumont courier the, the the tomato here uh card advantage in your mono red aggro deck fantastic then we already went over once upon a time burning tree emissary can help us chain through reckless bushwhackers which gives all of our things plus one in haste, which is great. Atarka's Command has so much, so many words on it. It's skull crack. It's it's uh, it's bolt. It it's ramp that we'll almost never use. It's giving creatures plus one plus one. Oh, it's so good. And stoke the flames to finish off everything there. What? Come on. Come on. Everyone's waiting for you. You're just going to knock your camera over, aren't you? Is this what I... I should... I have no idea. I'm about to play it for the first time. It did 5 over league. I have some amount of... Okay, actually... Oh, God. It's so slow. Uh, I have... <laughs> I'm trying, man. It's... it's. Look, this program does not give you a lot to work with. Come on, bud. Get in your bed. He's just standing next to his bed like, what am I supposed to do? I've never done this before. Oh, oh, oh. Do we get cat cam today? If I turn it on now, you'll just see his butt. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that camera angle is terrible, bud. What are you doing? There we go. It's a little better. Uh, yeah. Now lie down. There you go. We got a cat. <laughs> I'll take it. Here, let me move him up a little. There we go. He's like, I don't understand what I signed up for. <sighs> Sorry. Streamer stuff. I can't abide by this. I am not listening to you. There it is. All right. Everything's perfect. It's like I planned it. Okay. So uh, the thing I wanted to note before uh, Riddle distracted me, uh, the two things I changed about the deck list that I pulled off of the five O's was one, I cut a Foundry Street Denizen to add the fourth Legion Loyalist. This card is just amazing in this type of list and you should have four of them in your deck. And I cut a Shock to add a land because I am afraid. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, uh, what? No, I just want to join a league. Thank you. I was like, why is it 30 tickets? Uh, let's... Yeah, okay. I was like, what, what are you talking about? All right. This program isn't very easy to build a setup off of because you can't, you can't capture the game. You have to capture the, the, the screen itself and then sort of like cut things around it. I would love to play first. Do you have any idea? It's so many stoke the flames. Oh my gosh. Um, no red mana. No once upon a time. And just a Beaumont courier. Look. We've drawn all our lands, right? We'll never draw a land again with this hand? 
That's how that's how magic works, right? Get in. And look, if this hand isn't panning out, we can just draw a new one. Snap keep, right? Fabled passage. Deal. Oh no, we drew a land. Maybe I should have played Castle Inbreath, so if they make me draw two here eventually, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, you got your land. It's probably going to be like a swamp, and then they're going to fatally push my bud next turn. I don't think I want to trade this hand for two rando cards, though. Thoughtsies. Sure. Parita! Mmm, Thoughtsies against the aggro deck. Deal? Shock it. Ooh. I'd love to see it. Oh, that's a goose. Hit the hell out of my elbow. Oh, no. Uh, uh, I could technically kill this, but then I don't get to attack, and that makes me sad. It does mean they will have shocked themselves, so Burma Beaumont Courier would have done two damage instead of one this turn. Yeah, kind of in on that. But it does reduce the, uh, the loveliness of our four damage spell. If we had drawn a green source, that would have been so much more gas. Oh, yeah, tap it this time, huh? I think can gain three life. That's annoying. Wow. That was abrupt. That was quite abrupt. Uh. <laughs> my my country for a green source. Oop, almost did the stupid this interface doesn't really explain very well about attackers thing. It's okay. It's okay. We're winning 13 to 20. You see the score? I guess it's really 20 to 16, huh? I'm hoping that I can find a green source so that I can leave up a Tarka's command and, like, cancel out this food. Oh, they're going to turn this into a 3-3 three, three now, huh? Yeah, they are. Attack me. You know you want to. Oh. I am one attacker away from this token not doing anything. No, it's really not. Maybe I was supposed to mulligan that opening hand, though. Like, I, I, I could see that argument. That argument makes sense. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're creating food. Uh, so they don't know about once, but they do know about a Tarkus command. Oh, uh, you're kidding me. kidding me um i i hit okay because i thought it was still their turn and it doesn't matter because we can't beat that right now all right interesting interesting do i bring these in eidolons never a player can since who are three or less eidolon would be pretty punishing for them i think but, like, this is funny. Agritech trying to do too many things. I don't know. It's trying to do one thing and then splash a stupid thing. So, maybe. <laughs> uh, we're on the play. So, I like my, my aggro -y creatures. Destructive Revelry is interesting because they make a bunch of random artifacts. And they have an enchantment creature in their deck. So, I could see bringing that in. Like, Wild Slash isn't really killing anything except for Bird, right? So, like, I could see just doing this. All right. He 
He's having a sock dropped on him repeatedly. Uh, yeah, this is a keep. We're doing it. We, we found our green source. <laughs> uh, it turns out when you put 17 lands in your deck, idle on sideboard smells like trying to be cute main. Hey, I, I didn't make this list. Like, I, I literally cannot take offense because I did not make this list. I it was in the the five O's and really really it was in the five O's and I just changed two things and lived with it. See, my problem is I'm used to there being an option over here or like next to uh, the OK button to just be like attack all. And so I hit OK instead of attack all because there is no attack all button over there. Okay. Turn two did nothing. Interesting. Interesting. Play my land. Play my loyalist. Uh, hold. They have something, right? They're like holding up two mana. They didn't do anything on their turn. I don't trust them. That's all I'm trying to say. Do they flash in like a 3 1? Uh, yeah. Sure. Let's see, what do they. So they do know about Destructive Reverie. Okay. That's what I was looking at. Move to combat, attack in with my 1-1. One, one. We, we drew slow swift spear here. Or I guess slow spear. Boo. We haven't done the busted thing. Not either of the busted things this deck wants to do. And now they're at four mana. Okay. Okay, Oko. Create a food token. Deal. Uh, I'm going to try and do this on my turn instead of theirs because of prowess. Neat. And I, like, literally can never beat this Oko at this point. There's a reason I put Pithing Needles on my sideboards of Mono Red. Another food token. Uh, yeah. It'd be funny if they try and like crack it now. Waiting to use this skull crack. Yeah, crack that token. What if? Oh god, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Deal three damage. No. Your opponent can't get in life. Deal three damage to each opponent. What if instead of gaining three life, you lost three life? 
Surgical is better. Drown in the lock. Oh my god. Some people just want it more. <laughs> I. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Cinco de mustache. So they knew about the one, but they don't know about this one. Opponents can't gain life, deal three. Skull crack you. Do they have another... Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> it's like, do they have another one? Uh... Creates a food token. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's really good against us. Gotta say. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm one man is short of doing the thing. Nope. That's what I meant to do. Oh, gosh. This is going uh, swell. <laughs> Is Oko good? I can't tell. Is, is this is this good? Look, I'm Op Oko. Not enough face in here, right? Here's, here's your Oko. <sighs> I mean. Sure. We did it. Uh, kill last hope. Go to your face. They're going to kill one of these. And it's probably going to be this one. Do they just have two fatal push? Is that is that what's happening here? Nope. Wrong button. Okay, good start. Good start. Won a coin flip. Still lost both games. Nice, nice. Dece. <laughs> Already goes to show you that just because someone 5 0s with a deck doesn't mean it's good. Like, it could be argued, maybe I'm supposed to mulligan the first hand we saw. Could also just be argued that, like, Soltaioko's really good. We miss this kind of medium and relying on a lot of luck. Hey, we want another coin flip. Uh, this hand is a lot better. Uh, it just needs a land, but like, whatever. A lot better than hands we saw last game is what I was trying to get at there. Okay. Gonna lead on Swift Spear. 
Like I'm not cracking this anytime soon, and I have a couple wild slash in my hand, so. Tap land. You'll love to see it. Another control deck. You hate to see it. <laughs> uh, children screaming bloody murder outside. Oof. Land. Let's be honest with ourselves here. Let's be honest with ourselves here and just attack their face. Would love to draw a land. Would love to draw a land with 16 lands in my deck at this point. Oh, that's rude. Sure. This doesn't have prowess, right? Yeah. <laughs> I... Gosh, if we draw land, huh? It's like boop, boop, boop. Hexalon's binding. Which one do you take? Okay. That's kind of fine at this point. Land. Uh... I love me some aggro decks. <laughs> I mean, what this means is if they clear the board and we draw a land, we have lethal. All of these are lands, just for the record. Crackling Doom. Interesting. It's technically a land. <laughs> I don't even think I can discard this hand to draw five randoms. Like, this hand is really good. It just needs literally one land. Uh. Yep, that dork again. Please. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. That's, that's annoying. Who decided putting, okay, I added a land to this deck for the record. I, I bumped it from 16 to 17. And someone went 5-0 with 16 lands in their deck. And you're about to cast a red spell and kill this and it has lifelink. Yeah, that's gross. Goodbye, Ford. And they only have two cards left in hand. Oh, Ixlong. I was like, what? What random mountain did did uh, Magic Online put in my deck? All 
All right. They're down to just one card in hand, at least. But they have Ascanta flipped, so that kind of sucks. And Shambles. Wow, they're not... Okay. I guess they're going to 15, but... Land. Please? One time. Thank you. Let's do some damages. Well, well, shoot. Can you imagine if we had drawn that second land sooner? Because they gained four life last turn. Okay. Puts them to four, puts them to six with shambles. They're dead. They're pretty dead. Uh, yeah. Um... Okay. So they're going to fire up shambling vents. Next Time you cast an instant resource from your put that card okay. What are they casting? Uh let's see, your opponent. Can't gain life this turn and give plus one, plus one. Or do I just dome them here? I think I just dome them here. Your opponents can't, yeah. Rawr! Look at that. Turn nine aggro. <laughs> Okay. So they're still dead. Yay, we want a game. <laughs> we want a game. I'm interested in these skull cracks here, that's for sure. I'm going to cut some stokes. They're just so expensive. Eh, maybe I keep stokes in and then cut like some Beaumots on the draw. Should be fine. Uh, two tap lands. What is this aggro deck? I'm going to mulligan. All right, all right, okay. These are all the things this deck is trying to flip and do. 
we'll keep this. We'll bottom this. Cast once upon a time. Uh, land or a third one drop? I think it's just land. Land means not... Like, I'm never seeing a third land, right? Let's pick that up. Was I supposed to bring in Destructive Reverie? Yeah, who cares? Who cares at this point? All right, I have no attack with all button in this stupid client. All right. We have creatures on the board. Hopefully have them dead next turn. Might do. Might do. Something, something for blockers. Oh, it doesn't matter because they don't get the lifelink because of first strike. They're going to spell pierce me and I'm going to be pissed. Uh... That's all I got. They're at one. Oh no, they're at flipping one. Uh, just my luck. They're at one. Yay! We won a match. We finally won a match. Uh, fantastic. You love to see it. <sighs> Ooh, paired. Let's go. Oh, we lost the coin flip. Baby Soft won. <laughs> Baby Soft won the coin flip. Is this a hand you keep? Because you have once upon a time and no lands? Keeping this. We're on the draw. My phone is going off. Oh, look at that. Flippin' professional. And now we want to find a land. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just everything I've ever wanted and so much more. Um... This can bow mat. This angry red tomato here. No, you don't want to shock it until it attacks, friend. You want me to lose a card. See? 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 See?
strategic planning. Oh, is this a Phoenix deck? Yeah, it is. This is 100% a Phoenix deck. Okay. I don't know if I actually got that. Nope. Oh, well. Thing in the ice. Thing in the ice. So if I pay two, this comes in, and then I can stoke that. Always, always, always yield. Okay, two. Wait, no, mother. Ugh, I hate this stupid client. I hate this stupid... <laughs> These probably aren't so good. Now, to spite, I'm cutting two stokes. Typing profanity elsewhere, as not to say it on stream. <laughs> like, that would have literally been impossible on Arena, because it would have popped up with a thing like, Are you sure you want to target this? Why, why does it not warn you? Why does it not help you? Why is it not user-friendly? Uh... Uh, like, I just want to play the game, not the client. Sure, let's cry one. That's a thing in the ice. Wow. I don't know. Never mind. They... I didn't see what they did, actually. I'm just going to keep... Keep on keeping on, I guess. Like, they're going to flip this, and I'm going to be sad. They have seven cards in hand, three lands, like. Okay.
Hey, I drew a land. Hmm. I just use this to deal five? Guess. Like, it puts them really close to dead, which is nice, but we might just be dead here. Gosh, if we win this with the crappy hand that I kept, that would be insane. Oh, I was really hoping for a land there. This isn't lethal, so I don't feel like I should be casting it right now. Destroy target artifact. Rude. Like, I'm just hoping for a land now. Like, they... 14, 17... Wait, 14, 17, 20. Oh, are we dead? No, they didn't... They don't get the Phoenix back. So, if they attack us and we draw a land, we're good to go? Oh, that's not good. Rats. We're dead. They have another spell. We were so close, so close, but yet so far. That stupid punt in the, or misclick or whatever you want to call it in the first game. Ugh. I need to find a, Ooh, oh. I need to find a generic background when the card isn't there. Since you're not seeing all my stuff. I don't really... All my screens are full. I don't really have anywhere to put this place, this thing. Any place to put this thing. Uh... Keep? Okay. Interesting. So, heroic deck, you say. I should have played a Legion Loyalist since I drew the second one. Tradesies? Tradesies? They didn't want to trade these. Is this a knight? No, it's a soldier. Huh, interesting. It's a, it's a lot of beef compared to our tiny things, I guess.
These are all two ones I can't help but notice. Would be a shame if uh, my creatures had first strike and yours didn't. I just need a bushwhacker. Give me a bushwhacker and I will be happy. See, I'm not even asking for a land now. When I'm asking for a land, it doesn't make any sense because I don't have any lands in my deck. Three, four, five, six, seven. No blocks. Bushwhacker. Stoke the flames. A lot of triggers. Hits you for five down to eleven. I have this random two two I don't care about hanging back. Oh, interesting. But oh, I can't pay for this yet. Okay. Sure. Ooh, a one two. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> oh no. My poor board. It is actually scary. Uh oh. So aggressive, gosh. Three. Puts me down to three. So if I leave one attacker back so I can stoke them, they block here and take one, two, three, four. So I can do eight next turn, which puts them to three. That doesn't really do it, huh? What if I stoke this, attack with this, and then pay and draw f five cards? like to stoke this attack with this You're not blocking? D deal? I would just like to draw cards, please. <laughs> uh, lovely. Lovely. Fantastic. Cards broken. Play your Once Upon a Time. It's broken. <laughs> oh, no. Uh <laughs> 
Uh, they get protection from red, swing for lethal, exactly, etc., etc. Um... Searing Blood deals two damage to target creature. Yeah, Searing Blood seems good against them. I think it's a little bit easier to cast the Stoke the Flames as well. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, yes. This is a keep. And I think we just take a rootbound crag here. Shock this in. Play out... Denizen. Because next turn we can play both of these. And then I'll pump this. Don't play a one drop. Rats. I mean, if these trade, I think I'm fine with that. I think I am fine with that. Rootbound crag that they know about. Play this. Always yield to this nonsense. Play this. Attack with all. They all take that trade. Okay. And we get three in. Ooh. Oh, okay. They just went to second main there. That was scary for a second. Two of those nerds. Uh, was that a good draw? I think it was an okay draw. All right, get on in. They go down to eight? They went down to eight? Ooh, pumping their dorks. Okay. Those are some two twos. Oh, <laughs> one mana short. Or one mana short. Um, yeah. I, th I think we only know one life at this point. I think we only know one life at this point. Block. Cool block. Block. Oh, these blocks are so good for us. Uh, deal three. Plus one, plus one. Yay, we win. Yep. Uh, yep. This seems good. Got some wild slashes on the draw. They don't have a turn one play. We have Beaumont Courier. But, like, their deck is all turn one plays. So, yeah. Can't, can't let that one live. Cannot let that one live at all. OK. 
Okay, so we get to attempt to kill this. We want to do this first because they have Brave the Elements. So we wanted, we wanted to know about that. Maybe I'm supposed to play this because this has pro-red. But it's fine. Next turn, we get to go Boma Courier into Bushwhacker. That's a 3-3. Three, three. That's a 3-3. Three, three. I mean, uh, there's only so much I could do. I can't, I can't really, um, uh, <laughs> oh, nice deck. Good, good job, deck. Sure. I only know one life and it's turning things sideways. This is not really a race for winning, though. Oh. O okay. Interesting choice. I would have blocked this thing. Lord. Feels dead, man. Still feels dead, man. This has first strike. I don't have any. Um. No, no attacks, thank you. No attacks at these times, please. That's a 3-3. Three, three. I don't have Lightning Bolt. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just beyond dead at this point. So we're 1-3. and three. All right, we'll play for the 40-some-odd tickets or whatever it is. Or play points, rather. The, the small amounts of play points. The 50 play points. That's half a league. All right. Playing for half a league. We won the coin flip. Good start. We have two tap lands. Oh, we have once, though? Look. This is why we're here. We're here to see if this is busted enough to do this. All right. Look at that. Look at that. All right, and you were worried about lands, huh? You were worried about the land sitch. I feel like when it does its thing, it's good, but it doesn't consistently do its thing because you only have 17 lands in your deck. They're at 11, and it's their third turn. 
Sure. Oh, the perfect reason to have not played this wild slash, huh? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, one short. Get, get out of my way, exile zone. Draw three cards here. All right. All right. Yay, we did it. We won one. Uh, they're ramping. I don't know what they're ramping to. Uh, submit. Just get under them and kill them. That's my plan. Uh, you know, that felt good, but it was mostly because they weren't interacting with us in any way. Yeah, this hand is bad. This hand is not bad. I think you bought on one of the bushwhackers here. You want to keep both of these so that you can trigger this one, and you always keep two lands, and this is the third land, so that you can have three lands to do this. You know, boo-boo. And they put this on the bottom, so that's nice. Woo, was that a good draw? All right. Oh, perfect. I I wanted I wanted a mountain so that this could come in untapped. Face is the place. They also have once upon a time in their deck. And it will reveal unto us a rootbound crag. That they didn't play. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I see. Push that damage. Push that damage. All right, so they're down to 12, but they're about to put a 5-5 five five into play, so that's kind of sad for us. Especially when all we seem to be able to draw our lands. Okay. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down, deck. Ooh, it's a fairy. Oh, they just plus. Okay. Uh, so we attack their face. They take three, six. Take six if I attack their face. And that puts them at two, which means Wild Slash is a viable option. They're locked there. Uh, three, four, five, six puts them to two, I think. I think that's what we do. 
Oh, right. Freaking Teferi. Neat. Cool card. Cool. Cool card. Yeah, I was going to say, they could bounce their own thing, make a 1-1 one, one and a 5-5. Five, five. So I want to draw, like, Legion Loyalist here. No. That is not make a 5-5 five, five and a... Oh, it's Realm Cloak Giant. Neat. Cool. Um... See, it warns me that I'm going to pass with mana in my pool. Why can't it warn me that I'm about to kill my own creature with my spell? Is this like Naya Giants or something? Hmm. I wish the fairy wasn't in play. Uh, three, six. They have six mana. Giant is seven. Interesting. I never even picked that draft. Uh, it still just isn't enough is the problem. So, let's see. Next turn, block, block. They take one, so I'm still one short. So I have to draw a Flame Slash or something. Uh, so close, yet so far. Cute. Never mind. Although, if I draw a Legion Loyalist... Are they just going to sweep the board again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they could play a seven, seven. Nope, just another sweeper. Oh, hey, look, it's a land. Uh, uh. Now they play their 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh. I didn't realize they were that deck. We never get a turn now, do we? Yeah, okay. Look, it, they're playing the convoluted version, so we got that going for us, but yeah. I, don't, I still don't think anything in our sideboard is very helpful, so let's just kill them before they sweep us. Shrug? Yes, play first. Two lands, some wild slashes, Beaumont Courier, and yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have a red creature is the problem with, with this. Uh, but I'm going to lead on it anyway just because it's slow. Shrug. 
Shock. Play a 1-1. One, one. Oh, once upon a time. You shocked before you cast your once upon a time. Okay. Rude. Never didn't have it. Neat. And with this, they go ahead and... What do they do? They topped. Scary. Hooray, triggers. All right, so we kind of want to draw a Bushwhacker here. Kind of always want to draw a Bushwhacker, though, in this deck. Magic Online Leagues take forever. Yeah, you got a 5-5. Five, five. All right, hold on. So if we put them to 10... They block a one, they take two, four, seven, so it'd be three short. I think I'd rather save it for a bushwhacker, which we didn't get. This doesn't hurt though. We get to activate our castle here. Hit them for four down to eight. Closing in, maybe? It's a fairy. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. That scans. And with this temple, they bottomed. We can't attack with that. Okay. Uh, so if I play this and I attack, they block one, they go to seven, five. Wait. Seven, five. Seven. Let's count the other way, because I can't do it that way. Three, four, five, six, seven. So they're one short of dead here. have to do this now because Teferi is stupid. Gosh, can you imagine if this was Lightning Bolt? How great that would be. This was Lightning Bolt, Goblin Grenade, <laughs> you know, the broken cards. Oh, I shouldn't, because they have mm, Missile Land Drop.
It would be hilarious if... Oh, they can't. Never mind. I was going to say it'd be hilarious if they played Possibility Storm and I cast Wild Slash into a... Sto oh, wait. I can't because it's a fairy. Right. It is a lock. I forgot. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Do, 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 do. Rawhide. Wait. I hope they're tanking because they don't have anything and not because they have exactly lethal. That'd be great. No, no, let's undo that. Let's try this again. I just want 50 play points, friend. Sure. I think that means they're dead. Oh, right. It comes in untapped, so I don't know. Okay. Is there something I should be worried about? No, there isn't. Neat. Goodbye, opponent. Yay! <laughs> we did it! Oh, we finished the league! We didn't O for the league! <laughs> oh. Thoughts? Uh, playing? Okay. Let me preface this again. This The original list that I copied this from only had 16 lands. I added a land. This deck is bad. <laughs> Look, Once Upon a Time is busted, but you got to play more than 16 or 17 lands. Right? Like, uh, it's so terrible. And I think my, my gut reaction was right that Foundry is probably the weakest creature here. Could probably just cut one and and then add another mountain. Something like that. I don't I don't know. It it just always felt like there was this stress of Yes, yes, I know. I need to update my computer, but I refuse. Uh the stress of like I want to be an aggro deck. So I don't want to hit too many land drops, but also I can't seem to hit any of my land drops unless I have once in my opener. We did get to do the thing a couple times. Stoke, Stoke is really good, right? But it also feels really bad, especially when you target your own Burning Tree Emissary. Uh, sideboard. I don't know. Like, this doesn't do enough damage. This hurts us too, but I know we're the aggro deck. I could see bringing it in against Phoenix. Skullcrack is interesting when you already have Skullcrack in your main deck. And then this seems like a necessity. I'd probably, like, change something into um, Pithing Needle so you can deal with Oko. Oko is just, like, a deal breaker for this deck. Could not get around it. Uh, yeah, but it was a lot of fun. If you're looking for a fun aggro deck that does stupid things, I guess this is, you know, okay.